We, you want to do the Jeff Bezos thing? I mean, we got all of our cowboy hats. Oh, right. That was oh, the whole point. Right. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Let's Jeff Bezos yeah. in space. <laughs> Billionaires in space now, boy. Let's go. And since we're on Twitch, K Kona. K Kona? Yeah, that's the Twitch emote for cowboys. Or K Kona. Let me show you. K Kona, boy. Down the one here. that's standing right now. I'm just a good old boy with 200 billion. K Kona, look I at that. I paid 1% in taxes last year. <laughs> who, who the fuck is this guy? It's K Kona. Oh, he's a Twitch look streamer? Don't <laughs> look that red. Man. Come on now, K Kona. Come on down here now. <laughs> Bring your suey and your lasso. We're going to have ourselves a rodeo. I hope you ain't vaccinated because my friend, me and my friends, <laughs> don't, <laughs> if, we don't believe in vaccinations. Boy, that Bill Gates got that microchip right down, down, and down, but. Tata Rica, 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 Yeehaw! Oh, here's another K Kona. Come on down here now, K Kona. Big yourself one of them peach twisted <laughs> iced teas. <laughs> Come on down here now, boy. Mm hmm. I heard Jeff Bezos has a few extra spots on his spaceship. Woohoo! I'm going to space. Yeehaw! Anyway, Jeff Bezos is trying to act like a good old boy because he went to space. By the way, let me say this. People always say, oh, this is just a rich dude uh, bitching about Jeff Bezos. Yes, I'm rich. I have, I have what most people consider a lot of money. Jeff Bezos would probably spit at me if he saw me on the street. <laughs> but here's the difference between me and Jeff Bezos. I pay 50% of every fucking dollar I earn to the goddamn government in the state of California for the betterment of society. This motherfucker is worth $200 billion, and I wouldn't bitch about him for a second if he paid 50% of his fucking taxes like the rest of us hardworking Americans. We all pay taxes. You know, Jeff Bezos doesn't pay taxes, period. Is this, you know, a well, fuck you, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what is this move? That's so. That's why I'm pissed at Jeff and and people like him. You know, that's borderline uh, defamatory. <laughs> about Jeff, right now. That was fucking. Should I read that tweet? Maybe not. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna give him attention. <laughs> you know, you want to impress me, Jeff? Pay 50% taxes and then go to space, and then I'll fucking clap for you. You don't pay people living wages. You don't let people unionize. They literally have practices of hiring and yeah. firing people to prevent them from getting benefits. This may not help our uh, yeah. quest to get partnered, by the way. Oh, right. We love Jeff. does own Amazon. We love Jeff. Shout out to Jeff and his family. Did I mention that I love Jeff Bezos? Until I get partnered. He's the man. He's, he's made history. He in being... I'm, I'm still unclear on how he made history by going He made to space. history by riding his own rocket ship to space. Yeah, but they had to carve out like Richard Branson did that like a week ago. It's his own. It's his own. Right. Hmm. He's, He's the first dead. to ride a dick to space. Like it's <laughs> that's right. true. That's true. And he definitely wins the award for most phallic rocket ship. I mean, it's insane. I mean, they just went out there and scooted around for a few minutes. They did that in the fifties. I mean, we're like seventy years behind the curve here. I'm just not finding it that historic. I'm sorry. No, it's not. Uh, what What was the first? They said they they carve out. They have to carve out like crazy, um, like a specific, titles. a yeah, specific exactly. uh, vertical. The first that he... billionaire in a ship he built. Apparently, he went higher than Branson, but for less time. Anyway, have you ever seen a more phallic object? I mean, this is like my mom's. <laughs> this is like this my mom's dildo that we talked about. Oh, do not no. come. No. That's how I remember it. Somebody said it was an all civilian crew. Yeah, it's, it's oh, okay. The rocket's supposed to be autonomous, like, and uh, it's supposed to be reusable. The like first the billionaire to ride a fully autonomous uh, rocket that he paid for into space. Congratulations, Bezos, your <laughs> trailblazer. Sucking <laughs> a ding dong. All right, fair enough. But can you believe the lo this rocket? I mean, it's literally a giant dildo. Do not come. I'm trying, Kamala, but it's rocket. making it hard. Somebody say. <laughs> It runs off of hydrogen. It runs off the blood of uh, perished Amazon uh, workshop employees. <laughs> I'm gonna come! The children that they've ritually sacrificed to Moloch, the horn god. So listen, yes, I can bitch about, peop about billionaires. There's a difference between a guy worth a few million bucks and someone worth 200 billion. Let's not split hairs here. I'm on your team, okay? So when you pull the guillotines out, don't fucking put me up. 
<laughs> I pay my taxes, damn it. Or is this the first rich person to ride his own rocket on a weekday in summertime after 2020 and before 2022? Is that a comment? That, yeah, that was a yeah. comment. Good, good. Yeah, good observation. Thank you. Let's see. Oh, and one of the, this is a great detail. So who, who was on the rocket? His brother, Mark. Shout out, Mark. Definitely not nepotism. 82-year-old pioneer of space race. Congratulations, uh, Wally. And then an 18-year-old student, Oliver, from the Netherlands, who got on the plane because someone bought a ticket for, like, 20 million or something. Mm -hmm. And then they go, I have a scheduling issue. I can't make it. Like, that's some rich people shit right there. Excuse me? That really happened? Yeah. Yes. That's why that kid went up. <laughs> no, let me take a rain check. Wait, give, give me the details. My it's space not in here. <laughs> what? Yeah. The guy bought a $20 million ticket that was auctioned off, and he said, you know what? I actually, I have something going on that day. Swear to fuck. And then yeah. so they sent this kid from the Netherlands. Did he, like, chicken out or something? No, he just, he's like, fuck, I forgot that. The kid, oh, I forgot I was going to space. The tonight. kid from the Netherlands, his father was an investor. It all comes back to the money. Get me the details on that. Wait, was the father the guy who bought the ticket? No. Oh. Get, get me the details on that. Okay. I don't want to get it wrong. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah! Um, play was, Monopoly with Miskiff. Why do people keep saying play Monopoly with Miskiff? Monopoly? Could be fun. They, so, they usually play that. It's boring. Here's Jeff Bezos thinking. Th this is pretty great, I have to say, even for him. Uh, it, it, it sounds bad. Jeff, go ahead. Go ahead. Give us your best yeehaw. People who build the vehicle, all of our manufacturing people. Who build the vehicle? It's a big team. They've I didn't realize he had such a goofy voice. Why is he wearing a fucking cowboy hat? I just want to thank wrong all with the people. Him? I just want to thank all the people that built the vehicle. <laughs> you know. People who what build the vehicle, douche. all of our manufacturing people. This is a big team. They've been working on it for many years. Sounds and like they have done an extraordinary nose. job of building the most reliable, most beautiful, uh, most fun. I mean, I can vouch for that. I'll get to that in a second. Vehicle. Um, and I, we owe them a deep uh, gratitude. And uh, the people who kept us safe today, who operated the vehicle, our trainers, everybody. It's just huge. Uh, I also want to thank the town of Van Horn. This is a small and amazing little town. Um, and, uh, you know, we're making a, a dent in it. <laughs> and we appreciate you uh, for allowing us to be part of your town. And, uh, and then I also I want to thank uh, every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer, because you guys paid for all of this. <laughs> Bro, you're not supposed to say that. <laughs> I'd want to thank every Amazon employee. <laughs> well, he's because not basically wrong. you paid for this from from the wages we should be paying you. <laughs> How's he gonna thank Amazon workers for paying for a spaceship? That sounds fucked. Yeah, he if, if he had just said customers. Yeah, that would have been fine. I want to thank all of the employees in the Amazon warehouse who shit in the Yo. bag so they could pick faster. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. This is, um, did you guys know I was uh, establishing my own space race? The Gatsby oh, is now rocket yeah. propelled. See, that's a first. That's a real first. So that, uh, I'll history. be the first man to ride a mobility scooter into outer space. So take that, Jeff Bezos. You guys got oh, so the guy, yeah, the guy who bid twenty-eight million for a ticket on the same flight dropped out due to scheduling conflicts. He'll go up at a later trip, so he's not actually. Yeah, but like, how do you fucking to do? It's like I don't know how space, you like. Bro, you oh, it slipped my mind. Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to go to space that day. It's crazy. I say he chickened out. They well, I, I was reading about the rocket because I was like, Jeff Bezos is not going to risk his life. They actually had this crazy safety feature baked in, where if it detects something goes wrong, it ejects the pod. Real fast, and it can fall safely to the ground. That is cool, but that's um, that's nothing new. Uh, since the uh, Apollo missions, they've had that. Oh, really? Yeah. So has it been a while since astronauts have died? Uh, well, I one that was of the regular. space shuttles blew up um, in the mid-2000s, remember? Um, not Challenger. Uh, Columbia? And it was the Columbia the blew people up. people died on board? 
Yeah. That Did was, they have the space, uh, the Bezos uh, golden parachute? The, the, the eject system, from what I understand, only works during a certain window of time while they're Got launching. It. They, the um, Columbia, I hope I'm saying, I, I think it was Columbia, uh, blew up on re-entry, and it was very, like, kind of, it happened fast, real fast. Yeah, I was surprised that they said they could have that technology, because it seems when those, yeah. when those things happen that it, it's very fast, but... Challenger also blew up, but Challenger blew up um, in like the eighties or something. That was like fifteen seconds into takeoff, right? Wow, but then there, another of, space shuttle blew up. There's like um, crazy not shows. that long ago, two thousand three. There you go. What the fuck? Our chat is like a total cesspool right now. Oh, what's that? yeah, those are all getting automated. Okay, sorry guys. I wish we had partner programs so that we could do something about it. But hopefully in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, seriously, for every Amazon customer out there, and every Amazon employee, thank you from the bottom of my heart very much. Uh, it's yeah, I don't shop at Amazon to send you to space because it's so painfully convenient. I can't help it. <laughs> we built a fucking poison that's ruining our society, and I still use it because it tastes so sweet. Damn, dude. Sound like a uh, train wreck. <laughs> well, I guess, I, listen, I wish I didn't use Amazon. It's too fucking good. Use it every day. Jeff Bezos and the crew uh, in space. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, good. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Oh, wow. To space. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're in space. Great. Oh. This is great. You got it with me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay, fantastic. Oh. Just having fun. <laughs> just, oh, just an ordinary guy having fun. Oh, yeah. I was afraid the 18 year old was going <laughs> to kick the 82 year old in the face at some point. Oh. Yes, yeah, that looks dangerous for up there. It's cramped, too. It's like, okay. Everybody do a loop. Everybody do a spin now. It's also kind of old to be going to space. 82 years old. Oh, yeah. Hurry, play with the ball. We only have nine minutes. Throw the ball around now, folks. It floats. Look, it floats. We're in space. <laughs> you know Jeff's just doing this because he's so fucking bored. Like, he's so bored. He has so much money. He can't get excitement from anything other than going to space. I don't know what he's going to do now. I'm afraid for what comes next from Jeff. He's texting his ex. He's like, has your man been to space? Yeah, exactly. Okay, now. Here we go. A lot of fun up here in space. out our YouTube channel. Cardi B looking at space shape of rocket memes. Cardi B? Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, my God. What, just that it looks like a penis? <laughs> yeah, I think it's like yeah. based off the Austin Powers meme. Here's another Bezos meme. Jeff Bezos is not doing himself any favors with the Dr. Evil laugh. Motivate you. Does he have grander space ambitions than going to the edge of it? Did this moment motivate you to push deeper into the cosmos? Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know there's other civilizations Whoa. out there that we could conquer. There's other civilizations out there just waiting to be conquered. They need Amazon Prime, too. <laughs> Does he have grander space ambitions than going to the edge of it? Did this moment motivate you to push deeper into the cosmos? Hell yes. <laughs> oh, we should soundbite that. <laughs> That's so good. All right. Hell yes. We need Amazon Prime out there on Mars. Um, and finally, well, that's it. That's all I've got on Jeffrey Bezos. I love space, but I just can't get excited for him because he's such a douche. <laughs> I mean, like, how can you just, it's just so evil to be that rich. 200 billion, man, just pay taxes. I got a bigger problem with the cowboy hat. Like, the cowboy hat? Well, he, why? Because he's trying to be like an everyman? Like, that motherfucker doesn't wear cowboy hat. No, exactly. Like, when do you, uh, how do you wake up in the morning and just, just like, I'm going to be a cowboy hat guy now? I think he had probably, like, tons of PR and stuff, and everyone was, like, crunching the numbers. The cowboy hat. We've all come to the conclusion that you need to wear a cowboy <laughs> hat to, to appeal to the people. 